In Fusion, there's a tool called Patch. So when I do a solid circle, hit Extrude and hit OK with some depth, what was created is solid geometry that can be 3D printed. And if you section it, you'll see solid geometry throughout. What's technically happening in the back end is Fusion is creating a surface, a surface, another surface. It's effectively stitching them together and filling up this with solid volume. This happens automatically for you, saving you time, energy. Now looking at this surface, if we wanted to kind of do the same process or workflow, we would use the patch command on this end. We'd repeat and do another patch on the bottom. It's filling in with surfaces. And now you need to tell Fusion to put it all together. Basically, these are three separate solid bodies. So we're going to say that all three touch, knit them together into one, and also fill this up with solid geometry. This is now a solid body all the way through, just like if you were to use the solid feature. The patch command is useful for a few different things. It's great for filling in holes when you're missing geometry. I'm going to come up to patch and I'll choose this outer edge here or this boundary edge. And then it's filling in this geometry for us based on its surrounding surfaces. Talk a little bit more about how it's solving them in a minute. Patch is great for filling in planar or think along a plane or maybe flat. If you want to think of it that way, it's good at filling in these planar values and it's good at creating non-planar complex surfaces. One of the most important rules with patch, you do need to have a closed section. So in this case, I select it and it's going all around all of the edges and it's not able to solve anything. With this completely closed off, it's gonna have no problem patching this. When I select this outer edge, it's going to patch it. So one important question you might be asking is, how do we control how it solves when it does patch? We choose the patch command, we choose this outer boundary. This selection has, looks like 10 different edges, all that meet up to form one closed boundary. You have an option here to control how it solves from each edge. So if we say group edges, it's gonna treat it as one solution. So I can do group edges and then come down and say, let's do tangency. I would expect from this surface to solve with tangency into the transition. We choose tangent, you can see it starts to round it so that it has tangency in this new curve coming out of these, uh, these specific faces. If we ungroup or turn this off, we're now going to control each edge. So I could say that I want tangency coming out of edge one, edge two, and but I'm not required to do the same transition or the same curvature from each edge if I don't want to. When you're working with patch, you can select the outer boundary and then we can introduce these types of curvature. So this tangency or this curvature and we can control it with the slide handle or the numeric value here. We also can control the curvature even more with introducing sketches that will act as rails. I added a spline sketch right here connected from the endpoints, and I want to use that as a guide for the patch. So we'll come down to the rail, select the dialog. Now selecting this spline, it's going to force that curvature to match that rail. And you can do multiple rails with your patch tool. Now, what about if you wanted to patch this particular design? So we were talking about how patch won't work because this is not a closed section, but we can use patch to fill it in as long as we know how. One thing I want you to be aware of is if you were to create a rectangle. Um, when I was first learning, I would think that you could just fill this in with extrude. You cannot. If you use extrude, it's going to take these edges and give them depth. It's not going to fill in that geometry. That's what patch can do. So we'll simply select this rectangle, choose patch, and we can fill in this rectangle, creating a new surface. Now that we know this, we could start a sketch right here on this face or this plane, 
and I'm going to redraw these edges on the outside. I'm going to use P for project. I'm going to select the outer edges and now click OK. And also I'm going to sketch the lines just to close this off so Fusion knows what I want. So I'll sketch the lines at the top and the bottom connecting. I now have a closed shape or profile. Look for surface patch in your search. Select it. We now have a surface body and I'd like to patch this top. I know that we're talking about patch, but just want to call it out. There's multiple ways we could do this. I could loft from these edges over to the right edges to get something similar. In order to patch this top surface, I need a closed section. So I'm going to try, but it's going to fail. And the reason it's going to fail is it doesn't see this as one closed section because these are two surface bodies. Now, in order to make this one surface body, because they are touching, can use this stitch command. We'll select these two, click OK. And as long as there's not too big of a gap between them that it has to heal, it will put them together or stitch them together. Now we can try patching this top surface, click OK. And there's our patch. And we'll repeat and do the bottom here as well. Click OK. We now have it fully patched up, all one nice surface. Or do we? Let's look. We have multiple surface bodies, and so that's, again, we need to stitch it all up together. Select them all, click OK, and now we have one solid body. Hey, so we're working our way through the surface tools. I'll see you guys in the next video.